So Logan and Shelby County, we're still dealing with some flooding as of right now and more rainfall is on the way in a rainfall forecast for tonight. You can see we start off with some isolated storms in that area. It looks like this kind of where the stationary front stalled out and that's where we're going to see the most rainfall is up to our north. You can see though it's kind of spotty. It's not exact where this is going, where we're going to get the, the storm that's going to produce the heaviest amount of rainfall or the line of storms kind of training behind each other is something that we're watching out for too. The flooding is definitely a big risk coming up tonight and that risk continues into Thursday. That's how long this flash flood watch is in place. Here's a breakdown on future track of what we're expecting this evening and afternoon. So really for your morning commute, you don't have to worry about rain. There is still some patchy fog in the area. As we headed to 2 p.m., we start to see those thunderstorms developing and there they are where that front is 4 p.m. We also have um, kind of what we call a disturbance moving through out of Indiana that is going to produce some strong and severe thunderstorms in the Miami Valley. You can see that's numerous across the area. And then as we head into the night, uh, another round of storms may be possible early on Thursday morning. So your severe weather risk, it's only at marginal. That's the lowest uh, risk out of the, the Storm Prediction Center. However, we are looking at a pretty high threat for flooding. That's going to be the biggest issue. And then high winds is going to come along with those thunderstorms. They could be up to 60, 70 miles per hour. There's a small hail threat and also a low tornado risk that we'll be watching, monitoring very closely. Here's a breakdown. That stationary front still just chilling up to our north, and that's why the rain is just kind of trapped in this area as it moves up from the south. It stays here and continues off to the east. Uh, here's a look at our visibility map where we are seeing improvements in Greene County. Still some patchy fog down closer to Cincinnati. Here's a look outside 69 degrees winds out of the east and that visibility in Dayton is still at only about a mile, at least at the Dayton Airport area. 82 degrees your high today. We take your low down to 66. We keep thunderstorms in the forecast even into tomorrow morning, especially 75 degrees your high with the cold front moving through. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, the storm chances continue into the weekend. Now,